Well, you may have felt it. A small earthquake rattled the East Bay. The USGS says it was a magnitude 3.0 in Berkeley, north of Memorial Stadium. It happened around 9.30 this morning in the same area as other recent quakes. And then, coincidentally, it came just 45 minutes before the Great Shakeout, the statewide earthquake drill. Here in the Bay Area, emergency workers in Oakland are among those who practice their drop, cover, and hold. We've been told it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when the next one hits. So the 74-mile-long Hayward Fault, which runs under several East Bay cities, is considered one of the most dangerous ones because scientists think it's due. So our Brian Hackney tagged along with seismologists to see how they're monitoring this fault. At the end of a long, dusty road in the hills east of Fremont, a 500-foot hole has been drilled deep into the heart of the Hayward Fault. I'm Todd Erickson. I'm with the Earthquake Science Center at the U.S. Geological Survey. We're here today taking out uh, old electronics enclosure for a borehole strain meter. The crew's busy removing the old dome protecting that borehole strain meter. <laughs> A super sensitive device suspended deep in solid rock. So we're kind of close to the Hayward Fault here? We are. We are. Hayward Fault is a little bit over that hill. And just ask anybody which fault would cause the most damage. That's the Hayward Fault. The fault last snapped big time in 1868. And since then, stress has just been cranking up and cranking up. As the fault is moving, but there's no earthquake occurring, we can see a gradual increase in the strain in the rock. 160 years of strain have built up since the last great quake on the Hayward Fault. So you're able to measure that strain and scientists can sit at their desk in the comfort of their office and just look at it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. We telemeter this data and we're monitoring this data. It comes back in real time. This is one of those scientists, geophysicist Anne-Marie Bolte at USGS Moffett Field. The strain meters are really telling us what's happening, currently happening, um, as the fault is moving. Uh, this is a solar controller. How much power does this generate? This is 400 watts of solar. Several of these networks are strung out along the San Andreas fault system. The strain meter data, we can use a little bit more to see what's going on on the fault right now, and that may give us a sense of how um, a fault is, is going to rupture. How a fault is going to rupture, but not when. But uh, since every scrap of data counts, well... The old enclosure was, was getting, um, how should we say, <laughs> decrepit. And uh, this is what we're dealing with. Rat's nests. Rat's nests. So, out goes the 30-year-old enclosure, and in comes the new. Those electronics are going to go back in place in that new box. More user-friendly, safer, cleaner. It'll be much easier to keep the rats out. So, Todd has solved the rodent problem. But the Hayward Fault problem, that's here to stay. <laughs> 